Hey everybody, it's Betty and I'm back with part two of my military clock video. As you can see over here, I finished out all the digits and I've made us a little um, coding little board here. I'm gonna try and explain it to you. So for each coding bar, what do I mean by that? Okay, each one of these bars that are in front, in front of the piston one at a time, each bar going across is a coding bar. And depending on which um, segments we have a solid piece and we have a glass piece we'll, we'll either get a signal for that segment or we won't okay so if you're looking at the front of the clock like you should be because this is the position you should be in when you're coding you should be looking at the front of the clock like this and then down at the coding bar right here this is the coding bar for these okay um, I put a little sign here and as you can see, it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9, right? We don't have a 10 because a 1 and a 0 is a 10, right? So we just need 0 through 9. And this is where you would place the glass for a 0. This would be for a 1, for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Obviously, no glass because all segments are lit. And then 9, okay? So if you want, I'll stop right there. Um, just for a second, and you can get a picture of that. Uh, I'll stop right like so. Quick fiddling with it. And again, from the top of your screen to the bottom, it's 0 through 9, and it's left to right while you're facing front of the clock. Okay? Now we'll go over here, and we're going to start building in our segments and attaching everything. And then we'll start coding. So on each one of these uh, letter segments, or I'm sorry, um, digital segments, we're going to want to put some half slabs. So we're going to put two half slabs there. We're going to put two half slabs like that. And we're going to do it the same to each one of the segments. So again, it gets very repetitive what we're going to be doing here. Very important that you put these in the right place or the segments will not light up properly. So make sure you're putting these half slabs in the same places I'm putting them. This gets to be the exciting part of the build. We can start seeing things work. That's pretty awesome. Like that. Okay. All right. Now we're start. We're ready to make the connections from our power head to the actual. LED segments themselves. So how we're going to do that? Let's get out our block of choice. Going to come right over here, starting on this side and aiming at that slab. One, two, three, like that. Again, aiming at that slab. One, two, aiming at that slab. One, two, three, and aiming at that slab. Just one, like that. Get our half slabs out. Put a half slab on the side of each one of those right there, and then come to the outside and put a half slab like that. So we should have something that kind of looks like that right about now, okay? Now we're going to put a block on top of that and a half slab on the side of it and a block on top of that one and a half slab like that. And then we're going to extend that half slab out just one more like that. Then we can take some redstone dust and right at this one here, so just so you know where we're at, okay? We're at this one here. Redstone, 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 and our segment lights up. Come over here, get our half slabs out. We're going to put one up to the outside and come back with two. We're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Come outside, come back two. Get our redstone out. Redstone on all of these slabs. And we'll lit up. And on the other side, same thing, redstone on all of those slabs, and we're lit up. Now let's go to the middle bar. 
this middle bar here see there's three bars this is the middle bar one on the outside like so and then bring it back like that get your redstone out and put your redstone just like this now the middle bar is lit up let's come down to the bottom here get our half slabs out put a half slab on the bottom of that one and destroy that one put a half slabs on the bottom of that one and we'll destroy that one so we should just have these two that are left like that which is fine we're going to put a block underneath that destroy that block placeholder block here and one in front destroy that block and a half slab like that come in here put two half slabs there two half slabs here and then we're just going to go ahead and put our redstone dust all the way down like that one more stream should do it all righty then so our eight should now be all lit up and it is all right so all we're going to do is we're going to repeat that very same sequence on all the rest of these don't worry about this last piece here i'm going to come back and show you how to do that but I'll do it one more time for you, and then I'm going to let you guys do these last two just to save a little bit of time here, okay? So again, we're going to come over here, starting on the left side, get our blocks of choice out, aiming at the half slab. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. And one, like so. Half slabs on the side of each side of this block here. Destroy that block. Half slab on the side of this block here. Destroy that block. Put, now you see you have three and these two are close together. Top of this one here. And half slab on the side. Put a block on top of this one and a half slab to the front. Destroy that block. And this gets one more like so. Right next to this step here, see how it comes down? And right next we have this one right here. That right there. All right. Get our half slabs back out. One, two, like so. On the side of this one. And then one, two, like so. Redstone all the way back. Right to there. And the same on this side. Redstone all the way back. Right to there. All right. Now we're going to come underneath here. So we have these three here that we're dealing with on this side. We're going to put a half slab underneath this one. Skip one. Put a half slab underneath that one. And then delete those two blocks right there and there. Put a regular block underneath that. Delete that. Half slab there. Half slab there. Half slab there. Half slab there. All right, and then we're going to put a block underneath this one and forward and destroy that one and put a half slab there. Redstone out. Like so. Like so. Like so. And all we have left is the middle bar right here. And we're going to come to this side, to the left side of it, and put one half slab like that and bring it all the way back like so like that so now we have two segments that are lit up all right i'm going to finish the segments and then i'll come back with the um next part of our video Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have all four segments that are completely built. I'm not going to fill it in between them because that's what I used to get back and forth for coding, so hopefully you left them the same way, but eventually it will look something like that over there. All right, so um, again, you should have something that looks like this. All of these connect to the control heads the exact same way. There's no difference in there. So now we're going to start coding. So let's talk a little bit about it first. So we have minutes tens of minutes, hours, and then tens of hours, right? So basically, the reason this is 
four by four and five by five is how many slots we, we need to have. So I need to be able to go zero through nine on that. So that's 10 slots. So four by four with two taken out is 10 slots, okay? Um, this one here needs to go from zero to five twice, um, basically because you can't make a tumbler small enough to just go zero to five once. But basically we're gonna go zero to five twice on this one because obviously once I get to 59 minutes, Oof, I never hit 60 minutes. This never says six. It just goes from zero to five. This one here is the tricky one. It's the large one. It goes from zero to nine, zero to nine, and then zero to three. And then this one just goes zero, one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two. It does it four times. So without any further ado, we'll get at it. So we're going to start. This goes zero through nine. So we're going to start with a zero. Anytime we have a zero, we want to be changing the next station. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there for giving us power out here. And we're going to hook this up just to show you how to hook it up and how to make the, sta the next station change. You'll see how it goes. So we're going to put, let's take this out of here first, just for a second. We're going to put a torch on the side of this block. And then above here, we're going to come up one and over one because that was the easiest way to do that and we're going to put a piece of redstone dust there and let's just take that out because we don't want to activate that when it flashes okay now we'll put our redstone dust back all right so this is the basic circuit and when it's activated by when this block comes here it should cause this system to go off and it did just like we wanted it to that was perfect all right so now we're going to start coding on this first cylinder. The other thing I need for coding is going to be um, this here. So, because when I'm done coding, I'm uh, immediately fill this in with obsidian. So we have our zero marked here. This is to set off the next time module. Okay. And then according to our uh, graph over there, zero is the third block over. We want to take that, make that one glass. So that's the third block, and there's glass. And now we have a zero. And guys, I know all these by heart, so I'm just going to kind of go through them real fast because this takes a while. But every time you change this one here, you should see an eight. And then for a one, we want to get rid of all the legs except for the last two legs, which are those two right there. So all of that should be glass. And we have our one. And we're going to rotate the tumbler. And we have an eight now. And we want it to say two. So two is going to be that top leg there and that bottom leg there. See, top leg, bottom leg. And we have a two. Now for a three, we want to take out just these two legs here. And that's these first two right here top and bottom. Now we're going to get a four. A four, we're going to go over here and we're going to skip this one here and we're going to go one, two, three, and that will give us a four. Interesting, huh? Five is next. So for a five, we want the bottom leg, which is the second one in, and the top leg on this side, which is the very last one. See, bottom leg, top leg, we have a five. So for a six, we just need to get rid of that leg there, which is this block right there, six. Seven's a little tricky, but we'll get it. So you're gonna come over here, you're going to get rid of this block, this block, skip one, and then these two blocks, like so. And then eight is about the easiest one because we just want to look at the eight, give the pistons a chance to finish, and then go straight to a nine. And when we come up here to change a nine, we should have a full row of blocks, solids, no glass. Don't pay any attention to the end one, but for the seven segments, we should have no glass. Now for the nine, we want to do the bottom leg. So that's going to be the second one in. That's the top leg. That's the bottom leg. Okay. 
That's our nine. And then we should come around to zero again. You know what? I'm not going to do it. It will do it just fine, but I'm going to save it for when we're actually testing times because the next time it comes up, there's our zero block going to be in that place there. We're good. Okay. Now, this one here needs to go zero through five and then zero through five. So again, anytime we start with zero, we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put this in real quick. Piece of redstone dust there. Torch on the side. Block, block. Sorry. Block there. Get rid of those two. And this time I really don't care if it sets it off, so I'm just going to put the torch there. And it actually did, so that's fine. No problem there. That's up like it should be. And one more thing. Put a piece of redstone dust there. And we are complete. So this should be a zero. So we're going to come over here. The third one in. And that's a zero. Now we need a one through five. So this is one. Come in here. One, two, three, four. Five, and the last two are left, so that's a one. This should be a two. Two is going to be this first one here. And the second one in there. Three is going to be these first two legs here. This is going to be a four, so we're going to skip that one. One, two, three, like so. And then a five. A five, we want the bottom leg, that one there. And then the top leg on this side, that one there. And we have our five. All right, now this is one next one is going to be our second zero so again we're going to come over here solid block and then come over here third one in make our zero and then we just need to go one through five again so for the one it's all but the last two to make a two again so two is this first block and then the second one in make a three which is these first two make a four we skip this one and go one two three that's our gonna make a four and then we need to make a five so again it's the second one in and then the very end one for a five and then we have our five so i'm gonna leave that 59 for now all right now this one takes a little while because it's so big, but just bear with me and we'll get there, okay? So this is one of the one of the ones. I, sorry, my dogs are going off about something. Hang on a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Background noise, dogs. So this is where my red, white, and blue comes in. Um going to do red first. So for this zero here, come over here. We want to put our red block there and we want to make our zero. Now this one's going to code a little bit different guys, but this is the line we want to code with because we can't come from the top obviously because we have some up there, right? So again, third one in and that makes us a zero. See? All right, so again, 
we need to go 0 through 9, 0 through 9, and then 0 through 3. Okay, so this is the first round, so we're going to go 1. So come inside here, and we don't want to count this one. We're starting here, so 1 is all but the last two, like so. And that gives us a 1. Now a two is this last leg here, and then the second one in gives us a two. Three is next. So remember three is just the last two legs, those there. Four, we're gonna skip one and go one, two, three, like so. Five is next. Five is the second leg in, so there, and then the very end one. Six, we just need this one end segment right here. Seven is next. So remember, seven was the weird one where we went one, two, skip one, and then one, two. That's our seven. That's our eight. And we're not going to do anything. Hit it one more time for nine. All we want to do is make sure that this row here is solid, and it is. And then the 9 is the lower leg on this side. And then we're back to 0 again. Remember, 0 through 9, 0 through 9. So this is going to be a 0. And because it's going to be a 0, it's going to get a color, right? So we did red. Now we're going to do white. And we can go ahead and make this one while we're here. Why not, right? Should have done it before. And got rid of all the stuff I needed to do it with, right? Torch. Block above that. Block there. Redstone. Like that. And let's see that get lost to where we are. This is a zero, so we're going to be coding a zero here. So the third one in. And then we're going to go one through nine again. So this is going to be a one. Come over here. All but the last two on the left. There we go. And a two. Two is the very first one on this leg, and then the second one in on this side. There's our two. We need to get our three. Is the bottom and top leg on this side, so there's our three. And we need a four. So remember four, we skip one, and then we go one, two, three. And then the five is next. So it's the second one in, and the end one. And then the six is next. So remember six was just all by itself here. One little one block. And seven's next. So seven, remember, is we're going to go one, two, and we're going to skip one, and one, two. And that's our seven. Eight. 
and skip eight to nine. And again, we want to make sure that it did cycle. We always want to make sure that that row went up, and it did. We have a full row here, and this is a nine. And remember, nine's the lower leg, second one in, like that. There's our nine. All right, now we're going to go zero, one, two, and three. So again, we're at a zero, right? So we are smash that block, and this is our blue zero. So we'll put a blue there. And we'll get rid of our blue. Get that back like that. We're good. And we need to come over here and make sure we made this a zero, right? Because we're going to zero through nine, right? No, we're not, guys. Remember, this is zero, one, two, and three. So this should be a one. All but the last two. This should be a two. First leg, and then second one in on this end. And then a three. And remember the three is just like that. And that is correct. Next one we should have coming up is a zero. And as you can see, the next one is a zero here. So now we have 359. We haven't set this one yet. So let me go over here and do something. Take out our obsidian, and these first three are all coded. So we're going to go ahead and put obsidian blocks all across the top, like so, of our first three. Now, this one here is just kind of a pain, but we got to get it done. And we just want to go 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. All right? And, of course, there's no eighth thing. There's no nothing for it to go to. So we don't have to worry about that. We just have the se seven segments. Okay? So come over here. And let me just explain this real quick to you guys. So, so you know, these two are for the outside leg segments. And these two here are for this these leg segments. And then... You have three left in the middle. So now I clean these. You got one, two, three, right? So this is the bottom bar, this is the middle bar, and this is the upper bar. So that'll explain. You got lower leg segment, I'm sorry, upper leg seg segment, lower leg segment, middle bar, lower bar, upper bar, lower leg segment, upper leg segment. All right? Hope that makes sense to you guys. So I mean, you can still use what I gave you over here, but if you've done it as many times as I have, you have it all memorized now, so um, hopefully you'll memorize it pretty quickly. So again, we're going to go last segment. That's our zero. And then we want a one. And then we want a two. And then we're back to a zero. That's the first time. We're going to do this four times. Now we're on our second set. So a zero. A one. And a two. Again, we're back to zero. This is our third time. And then one on one.
and the two. And our last time around, we're going to do zero, one, two. And that should finish off our coding. My bad, guys. No, I'm sorry. That is right. Zero, one, and then a two. Got lost for a second there, guys. Sorry about that. All right. On the end. Second one in. And the next thing that comes up should be a zero. And we should get a one. And we should get a two. All right, so now we're at 23.59. And I believe, with the exception of putting some obsidian down here, we are done. Look at that. We are, it is now complete. We just need to do the finish off the face. So to do that, bring all the rest of this up black like so. And then we're going to get out our block of raw iron. And we're going to come right down here, all the way up, just one above. And bring that all the way across. Oh, we got the other stuff to fill into. My bad. All right. And bring this up. We'll get it. We'll get it. Go back to our background color and we'll bring all of these up. And then don't fill that one in there yet. There is one more thing we need to build, guys. I'd almost forgot about it, but it is our flashing seconds light, and that goes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and put a lantern, even with the middle of here, in the middle of this. So like that. See how it's in the middle of that segment? And then we're going to put three blocks down. One, two, three. And another one, and it should be in the middle of that segment. And then finish that off. One, two, three. All right. Now, we're going to come over here. And where we dug down before, right against here. Coming across like so. What we want to do is dig down to right here and follow that like so. Let me get my blocks out, the slab out, and repeater out. So what we're going to do, right there. Oh, is it right there? No, it's not right there. Sorry, guys. A little bit of adjustment here. All right. Take and put a block there. Cut that out. Put that out like so and then we're going to need one block space one two one two I think that should do it um, we'll take that out take that out put a repeater here put a repeater here 
redstone dust there and there. Take two more out like that. And then take that block out there, that block out there. Two pieces of redstone dust. Put a repeater facing into that block on four ticks delay. Repeater into that block on four ticks delay. Torch there. Torch there. And that should start blinking. And we want to connect it up with redstone like so. Put a torch on top of this block here. Put a block on top of that. On the top section of this block here, go out like that. Go out like that. On the top section of this block, go out like that and destroy that. Put one up. Top section of the next block like that. And up like that. Get our redstone out. Why did we stop? I don't know why it stopped, but it did, and it shouldn't have. Anyway, finish off our stack with redstone. And our light should be blinking. And it is. That's a good thing. All right, come out here. And we're going to hook up our redstone here. And this is what turns our lights off. And as you can see, they are off now. So we get our half slabs out. I'm all about being neat. And we're just going to cover this all up with half slabs. Make it look nice. And also make sure that there's no interference with anything. So I just like to make things look nice, though. So I chose the uh, raw iron to kind of Looks military in a way, I guess. All right. Now we can go ahead and get our black background out and we can finish filling this in. And the one more thing we're going to do is come over to here right out like this and we're going to bring this up one higher and now all the way across like that and then we're going to put one run down here. I say one, I lied. It's two. And there we go, guys. You can even close the back however you want, build it into the side of a mountain, whatever. But our clock hopefully should be working now. Let's test it. And there you have it. Just went to zero hundred, which is what it should do. No, it's not supposed to say twenty four hundred. Just so you guys know. There's twenty three fifty nine and then there's zero hundred. Just so you know. Some of you might know, some of you might not know. 
anyways there's our clock it is 100 percent done and it is working like it's supposed to and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave me a like or subscribe tell your friends so they can come check out the videos Again, I don't do this for money. I don't do it for fame. I just do it to help out fellow redstoners. I like to build really cool stuff. When I see stuff built, I'll either tell you where it is or I'll um, go ahead and build it myself and show you how to build it. I'd like to give a couple of shouts out to some people who helped me with all my clocks. One is Ken from K1 Inc. Um, please go visit him. He does do this for money and he is very, very good at it. You'll like his videos. And the same with Skippy6 Gaming. He does this. Uh, he likes the likes and subscribes. He keeps us all up to date on the new changes coming out in Minecraft and all that. So maybe go check out some of his videos as well. So for now, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope everything went well for you. Hope you have a nice military working clock in your world now. This is Betty from Betty's Garage signing out for now. Y'all have a great day.